Hello, my name is Dave Martin, and this is a high-level 50,000-foot overview of wind chill. So in product development, there are a number of different systems that you use in order to create and manufacture and deliver your products. Four of the main ones from the product development side are your CAD tools, such as Creo Parametric. You have all that data and then you're going to manage it in a PLM or product lifecycle management system. And that's what Windchill is and a couple other systems that connect and interface with your PLM system include your manufacturing execution system and your enterprise resource planning software. Let's talk about what this thing, product lifecycle management, is. If you want a really good in-depth discussion, I highly recommend that you check out the book, Product Lifecycle Management, by Dr. Michael Greaves. He's also the person who coined the term virtual twin. And I got a chance to speak, or excuse me, to hear him speak back in 2018 or 2019. I got him to sign my personal copy of Product Lifecycle Management, and he's got a great definition for the term. I am not going to read it to you. You can pause the video and read it for yourself. But the part I have highlighted in red tells why we use Product Lifecycle Management. What we're doing is we're taking all our data and our information regarding our products and we're capturing it. And by capturing that, we're able to reduce the amount of time that's wasted, reduce the amount of energy that's wasted, and reduce the amount of material that's wasted across the enterprise. So product lifecycle management is about capturing all the information necessary to design, manufacture, inspect, deliver your products from cradle to grave, from initial concept all the way through obsolescence. So what is this thing called Windchill? Well, basically it is PTC's offering for product lifecycle management. And Windchill itself is really a platform or an architecture for these various different solutions. Windchill is web-based. That means that you are going to access it from an internet browser, whether you're using Firefox or you're using Chrome, whatever. Uh, you're going to access it through a web browser. That is why Creo Parametric has a web browser built into it. So you can access your PLM system right from within your CAD tool. Also, it is highly configurable and customizable. So you have Windchill the way it looks out of the box with PTC's recommendations. They said that you only do about 5% of customization and 15% of configuration. Otherwise, you should be using the majority of out of the box functionality. There are a number of different modules to Windchill and some of the main ones include PDM link. PDM stands for product data management. So that's for essentially managing your CAD data and a whole bunch of other related processes. There's also MPM link, which is manufacturing process management. So for example, creating your manufacturing bills of material and your process plans for making and integrating your different products. Another major one is project link, which is used for collaboration with your partners, vendors, suppliers, and customers. And there are many, many, many more modules to Windchill because again, it is a platform upon which a whole bunch of different applications are built. Regarding some of the functions that you can perform in Windchill for product lifecycle management, these include things like CAD data management. So again, you create your models and your drawings in Creo Parametric. You're going to manage that information inside of Windchill, primarily PDM link. Windchill can manage any electronic file. So you can perform your document management here, whether you want to store Word documents, Excel spreadsheets, PowerPoint presentations, PDF files, test data, images, anything electronic can be stored and managed within Windchill. You can also perform release management so you can track the maturity 
of your objects through its life cycle. You can do change management. So for example, you can use problem reports, change requests, and change notices in a closed loop process in order to track and manage the different modifications that you want to make to your products. You also have bomb management or management of your bills of material. So typically for a product, you have many different bills of material that you need to create. You have your engineering bill of materials that come from your design team, but then you need to rearrange it to a manufacturing bill of materials. Also with your bill of materials, you have objects that you don't create in CAD that you also want to manage with your different objects. For example, when you are putting together a bill of materials for how something is shipped, you might include the shipping container in there, you might include packing foam, you might include a warranty card, an instruction manual. So you're going to need to be able to manipulate your bills of material. You can do that inside of Windchill. You can also create other kinds of bills of mater material like your purchasing bomb or your finance bomb. You can also perform manufacturing process planning. That involves two main things, creating your manufacturing bill of materials, like I had mentioned under bond management, but also creating process plans with the instructions for how to build your products. You can also perform supplier management. You have a supplier management module that allows you to identify your vendors and suppliers, and you can also designate their status. For example, if they are approved or if they are preferred or they are not allowed to be used. And you can perform collaboration through Project Link. That's so that you can have your outside third party suppliers, vendors, manufacturers have access to a siloed area of your database. Typically you don't want them to have access to your entire database, but with Project Link, you can have them have access to a certain small portion. Maybe you want to have them modify files for you and then send, and then check them back in and then you can take them from project link and put it back into your main pdm link database and the last function that i'll mention for now is visualization so since windchill is accessed by a web browser anyone in your enterprise who has access to windchill can access your data and they can use a lightweight viewer called creo view in order to pull up different parts assemblies and drawings and be able to view them in that lightweight viewer they don't need to have the native authoring application Creo Parametric installed on their computer. So those are just a few of the different functions that you can perform within Windchill. There are a whole bunch of other different functions, including configuration management, software management, requires requirements management, quality, so forth and so on. Now, the only one of those that I'm going to talk about in this video is CAD data management. I'll cover the other areas in different videos, but for CAD data management, one of the main functions that PDM link and Windchill serve for you is a vault for your data. That's where you're going to store all the different iterations of your CAD models, and you're going to be able to have access control. You can control who is capable of seeing various different objects and the different permissions that they have on those objects, whether they are allowed to view them, whether they are allowed to modify them, and so on. You also have version history. So every time one of your users checks out a model or drawing and then checks it back in, Windchill is going to keep each of those different iterations, each of those different versions of the model in the database so you can perform comparisons to see how something has changed. Or if you decide that you need to go back in time, you can revert to an earlier iteration of the model. In addition to version control, something very similar is revision control. So at some point you're going to release your objects. You're going to say, hey, we approve of this. It went through a review. It is no longer in process. We are now going to release this so people can manufacture it. But sometimes when you manufacture something, you realize that something's wrong or maybe something even gets 
out into the field. Your customers are using it and you realize, hey, we need to make a change to this because it's not working the way that we want it to. So in order to take something from a release state back to an in-work state, you are going to revise that object. And so PDM Link allows you to revise your different objects to revert them back to a lower life cycle state. And if you revise them, well, you are going to be able to access again, previous revisions to see what it looked like. With your CAD data, you also have something called metadata. And so meta is a prefix that means something about something. So the term metadata means data about data. So you have additional information that you are tracking regarding the different CAD models that you are checking in. And so this can be sourcing information. It can be information about who created the objects, who last modified the objects. You can also create your own custom attributes for how you want to classify your objects and how you want to track them. So you can create other information related to the CAD documents that you are checking in. Also, you have your product structure. So for example, if you take a look at the view on the right, we can see a hierarchical product structure. In other words, the top level assembly there is the powertrain and it's got some sub-assemblies and there are sub-assemblies and parts within the sub-assemblies. So you're going to be able to have access to the entire product structure as well. And you're going to be able to do promotions and releases, which is part of that revision, that stuff that I talked about. So for example, you have something you're working on and you say, hey, this is good. We did a design review. Everyone likes it. We are ready to start building a prototype or go to manufacturing. So you can use different process, processes like promotions and releases in order to have it go up in maturity in its life cycle. And also you have notifications. So for example, let's say that you are working on some model and you checked it in. Maybe you want to receive an automatic email notification if someone else checks it out or checks it in or modifies the metadata. You can use subscriptions to have those automatic email notifications about changes to objects within Windchill. So some people say it's like, oh, you know what? We probably don't need product lifecycle management. Our products aren't that complicated. There may be only a few different parts in here. You know, it's just just not as, as complicated as some of the bigger companies make. But even if your products aren't complex, your processes most likely are. So if you are doing any kind of big manufacturing, then you could probably benefit from using a product lifecycle management system like Windchill. If you are interested in Windchill, uh, send me an email to uh, dmartin at creowindchill.com for more information. Or if you are US based, I can help set up a demonstration for you to see more about it. So for example, you could see PDM link for the product data management on the CAD side, MPM link for the manufacturing process management, project link for collaborating with your different partners. You also have Windchill Workgroup Managers if you want to manage CAD files from other software other than Creo Parametric, such as SolidWorks or Inventor or Katia. I know I'm missing a bunch of them, uh, but you can manage other CAD files inside of Windchill. Also, there are some neat tools like ThingWorks for IoT, the Internet of Things, and there are some great apps for using Windchill that are much simpler than the standard out-of-the-box interface for Windchill. So if you are a person who doesn't access Windchill that much, hey, these nice, beautiful Navigate apps are going to make your life a lot easier. And so thank you very much. If you want a copy of this presentation, it is available from the Windchill page on my website, www.creowindchill.com. Thank you very much. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you want to be notified when more Windchill videos are released, please subscribe to the channel and ring the bell. Thank you very much.